What's going on everyone? It's Sarah and welcome to your hip opening yoga flow. Let's get started right away by coming into child's pose. Stretching your arms out in front of you, placing your forehead on your mat. Knees are wide, big toes touching. Even lifting your forearms and elbows up off the ground, spreading your fingers nice and wide. I want you to start to focus on your breath here. Inhalation and exhalation through your nose. Letting go any tension, any thoughts that you're holding on to that aren't serving you. And just start to focus on your breath. Let everything else just float away. Letting go of any stress from today, anything you still have left on your to-do list. And just focus on your breath. Three more deep breaths here. Really just letting yourself be supported by the ground. Not worrying about anything. Good. Next inhalation. Come up to a tabletop position. Stacking your knees. Stacking your hips right over the knees. Toes are tucked. Shoulders are right over the wrists. A little cat cow here just to warm up the spine inhale look up pull your shoulders away from your ears exhale rounding all the way in chin to chest inhale scoop look up exhale round all the way in two more times inhale to look up exhale to round in Inhale to look up. Exhale, round all the way in. Good. Coming back to our neutral position, walk your hands out just a little bit further in front of you and then press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. This first down dog, maybe pedaling out the feet a little bit. Good. And then both legs straight. Slight contraction of your quadriceps to lift your kneecaps up. Open up the back of your legs. Maybe spreading your toes out nice and wide. Spread your fingers out as wide as you can. Good. From there, step your feet together. And you'll notice with me, I'm always going to say lead with the left. And that is because we live in a culture and a society where most of us are right-handed. We do everything with our right side. So we're going to switch it up in yoga by using the left leg first on everything. And it might throw you off a little bit at first, but you'll get used to it, I promise. So stepping the feet together, inhale your left leg to the sky. Good, and then you can open the hip up. Oh, there goes my mic. Maybe bending the knee, stacking the hips, maybe circling out the ankle, or maybe even doing a couple knee circles. Good, open up that hip, good. Exhale, come back down. Other side, inhale the right leg up. Do the same thing. We open up the hip, bend the knee, maybe circle the ankle, maybe even circle the knee. Good, and then exhale back to center. From there, bend your knees. Look to the front of your mat and step up. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale and fold all the way in. And just stay here for a moment as well. Maybe bending the knees right and left. Let your head just relax down. Maybe even bending both legs a little bit here. Just hanging out for a moment in your forward fold. Good. From there, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Good. From there, bring your hands into your heart. Close your eyes for a moment. And go ahead and set an intention here. Maybe a goal you're working on, a dedication to someone in your life. Just taking a moment here with your eyes closed. Good. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Look up. Exhale. Forward fold all the way. Inhale. Lift. Halfway. Plant your hands flat on your mat. Step back to plank, holding here. 
Nice, strong plank shoulders, stacked over the wrists, high on the toes, core is engaged, tailbone descending down towards the heels. Good, then gently lower down, knees, chin and chest. You're gonna hug your elbows, embrace your sides as you slowly lower down to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Good, from there, stepping your feet together. Inhale the left leg up, and then shift it forward, coming all the way to the top of your mat. High on the right toes, stay here for a runner's lunge. Good, keep your right hand on your mat. Inhale your left arm up. Looking up towards the left fingertips. Good, gently placing the right knee down, untuck the toes, come on up. Hands could be on your thigh. Hands could interlace behind your back, maybe opening up the chest. Hands could be on the hips, or maybe even hands up to the sky. If your hands are up in the sky, Open it up, twist open, look back towards your right foot. Good, inhale back up. Exhale your hands to the ground. Stepping straight back, down dog. Good, from there, step your feet together. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Shifting it forward, all the way up. Staying in this runner's lunge for a moment. High on the left toes. Knees stacked right over the ankle. Left hand down on the ground, reach your right arm up. Good, then slowly coming back down, lower your left knee down to the ground. Come on up, same thing, hands could be on the thighs, hands could be on the hips, hands could be interlaced behind the back, opening up the chest. Or maybe hands to the sky. If you have your hands up to the sky, open up. Look back towards the back foot. Good, untwist. Exhale your hands back down to the ground. Stepping back, straight to down dog. Good, from there, bend your knees. Look to the front of your mat, step up. Inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale and pull. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale your hands into heart. Okay, moving through. Inhale up, look up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale to lift, halfway. Plant your hands flat on your mat. Maybe sticking with knees, chin and chest here. One more time. Inhale through cobra. Exhale back, down dog. Good, inhale your left leg up. Step it through. This time high. Runner's lunge, so stay high on the right toe. Inhale the arms up, crescent lunge. Good, notice here, you're not letting your butt stick out. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the pelvis forward. Reaching up, lengthening through the side body, relaxing your shoulders down. Same thing, twist it open, look back. On twist. Exhale your hands back down to the ground. This time adding a vinyasa if you wanted to stick with knees, chin, and chest as we've been doing. You can do that or chaturanga to up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Moving to the other side. Inhale your right leg up, shifting forward to the top of your mat. Stay high on the left toes. Inhale, come up. Again, tailbone tucked under, lengthening up out of the pelvis, lifting and lengthening your side body. Arms reach up, shoulders relax down. Twist and open it up. Untwist, exhale your hands down. Stepping back through a vinyasa, high push up to low. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale back. Down dog. Good. 
Okay, bend your knees. Look to the front of your mat, step back. Inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reverse one dive all the way up. Exhale, your hands into heart. Good, one more time. Inhale, your arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift, halfway. Plant your hands flat on your mat. Moving through your push-up. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale back. Down dog. Right away. Left foot to the sky. Coming into crescent lunge once again. Inhale your arms up a little faster this time. Open it up. On twist. And hands back to the ground. Good. To the other side. Moving through your vinyasa first. Exhale back. Right leg up, shifting forward. Inhale up. Exhale, open up. Inhale, untwist. And exhale your hands to the ground. One last vinyasa here. Exhale back. Good job. Bend your knees, look to the front of your mat, step up. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale forward. Inhale, reverse one. And exhale your hands into heart. Okay, hopefully you're nice and warm now. I know I am, so I'm sure you are too. You can stay here at the top of your mat. I'm just gonna turn and face you so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So you're gonna shift the weight into your left foot. I'm gonna just step back here, facing the front, shifting the weight here. You're gonna bring your right foot and cross it over the left, making a nice figure four and start to sink your hips back. You should be feeling this on the outside of the right glute. Maybe bring your hands to your heart. And maybe even starting to see if you can fold forward. Eventually there's an arm balance here Fun trick, planting your palms right underneath your shoulders, bending the elbows a little bit, hooking the right foot onto the forearm and placing the right shin onto the other forearm and see if you can start to shift the weight into the hands and then kick the left leg up. That's the advanced option here. If not, you're just staying here, hands to heart. Good, and then standing up, you're gonna bring your knee up and then all the way back behind you for warrior three. Try to keep the right toes pointing down to the ground. Good. And then slowly stepping to the back of your mat and bring your hands down to the ground. We're gonna go a little deeper into the hips here. So you can gently untuck the right toes, placing the right knee down. Maybe coming up here again. And notice here I'm letting myself shift forward. But again, I'm not leaving a really big arch in my low back. Tuck the tailbone down towards the ground. Good, from there you can bring both hands inside the right leg and work into a little bit of a lizard pose here. So maybe you stay here, hands on the ground, you're just breathing, you could even Tuck the toes, lift the right leg up, whatever you feel more of a hip stretch in, or maybe working your way down onto your forearms. Got another option here. Bringing your right hand out 90 degrees, facing towards the right side, rolling onto the outer edge of your left hip. This is one of my all time favorites. Notice here, my feet are really active though. And I'm rolling onto the outer edge of the left foot, not forcing this at all, but gentle pressure here, maybe a little rock side to side, or maybe reaching back, grabbing for the right ankle. Good, untuck, coming back. And then from there, you can tuck the right toes, straighten the left leg. A little hamstring stretch here too. Maybe using blocks at home 
if you can't quite get as low as me, notice here, really flat back. So I'm hinging at the waist, leading with my chest. Good, bend back into the left leg, plant your hands. Step it all the way back, down dog. From there, lift your right leg up, shift forward. From there, step your feet together, lift your left leg up, and then we're gonna move into pigeon pose. So, half pigeon. You're gonna bring your left shin, eventually you wanna try to get it parallel with the top of your mat. If your hips are too tight, you can move this left heel towards your right hip. Again, eventual goal is to get parallel. Hands by your sides. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Good, slowly coming up, plant your hands. See if you can shift your weight forward, tuck the right toe, lift your left leg up, and then all the way up to the sky. Option for wild thing here, left foot comes down and behind, lift your hips up. Good, coming back into your plank and then to down dog. From there, bend your knees, look to the front of your mat, step up, inhale, lift halfway, exhale and fold. Inhale, reverse swan move all the way up. Exhale, your hands into heart. Okay, from there, moving to the other side, that balancing pose. So shifting the weight into your right leg, left foot comes up, making that figure four and start to sink your hips back. Maybe hands here on the hips, maybe hands to your heart. Maybe you start to fold forward. Maybe you start to work for this arm balance. So it'd be good for you to see this other side. Notice here, my triceps are hugging in towards one another. And you place your right, sorry, this time left shin, onto the, the back of the arm, hooking the left foot, shifting the weight forward, and lifting the other leg up. Good, again, that's the advanced option here. Otherwise, you're just staying upright, really. Feeling this nice stretch, feeling the booty work on the other side. Good, from there, straighten the leg, bring your left knee up, and then start to shoot it back behind you. Trying to keep your left toes down towards the ground. Good, and then slowly start to step back. Coming into a lunge, bring your hands to the inside of the right foot. Left knee is down on the ground. Good job. Again, options here. Maybe coming down to the forearms. Maybe rolling onto the outer edge of the right foot. Turning your left hand 90 degrees. Good. Really squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back if you're doing this one. Reaching for the left foot. Untwist there. Couple more breaths here. Slowly making your way back up. You're going to tuck the left toes, bring the right hand outside of the right foot, straighten your right leg. Half split. Again, maybe using blocks here so that you can hinge forward. You might not be as flexible as me, and that's okay. I didn't start here either. It took a lot of time and practice. That's why it's called a practice. It's not a perfect. We're all a work in progress. So just do what you can. I'm so glad that you're here taking care of yourself today with me. Good. From there, bend back into the right leg. Plant your hands. Step straight back, down dog. Okay, from there, step the feet together. Inhale the right leg up, shifting forward into our half pigeon. Good. 
Again, eventually trying to work this right shin to be parallel to the top of your mat. If you're not there again, right foot can come in closer to the left hip. Good. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, hold forward. Starting to come back up. Plant your hands. Again, tuck the left toes, maybe shifting your weight forward just a little bit here. Engage the left leg, pick the right leg up, all the way back up to the sky, three leg down dog, and then option for wild thing here. Good, come back, down dog. Okay, from there we're gonna bring it down to the ground. I'm gonna face you guys. And we're gonna work into our butterfly, Bodhikonasana pose. So soles of the feet together, maybe finding a little bit of a grip somewhere on the ankles or the feet, sitting up nice and tall. If you have really tight hips, if your feet are further away from you, the easier this will be. If you have pretty flexible hips, you can start to walk the feet back. Good, and then slowly start to lean forward, leading with your chest and your chin. So I don't want you to just round all the way down. Really try to hinge forward as much as you can, really opening up the hips here. Good, inhale, come back up. Now we're gonna open up into a straddle. So if you're on a hardwood floor like me, make sure that when you straddle, your heels aren't off your mat, you're still on your mat. Sitting up nice and tall if you need to, you can support yourself behind with your hands. But notice here, I'm not just hanging out loose with my legs. Watch the difference of this versus this. My quadriceps are engaged, my feet are engaged, I'm pressing my toes to the back of the room, especially that pinky toe, so you can get the external rotation in the hips will help you to open up the hips. Good, from there, if you can, starting to walk the hands forward. And going as far as you can, but remember, quadriceps are engaged, feet are engaged. Eventually one day, It'll be like a pancake. I don't even know if you guys can see me if I go all the way that low. So you can hang out in this pose for as long as you like. And that's all I've got for you today in this hip opening yoga flow. I highly recommend once this video is over to take just five minutes, not, it doesn't even have to be five, but take one minute, 60 seconds, Shavasana, just laying flat on your mat. Because when do we ever just lay on the floor Totally letting go, closing your eyes, and just letting all of what you just did soak in.